All right, what's up, people? We're going to do a quick video on a program called Post Taste. Uh, Post Taste is a way to get a project started, and even in really large projects, keep it organized and consistent between projects so that even if someone else were to open up your project, they would kind of know where everything's at. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Post Taste is in this little folder right here, or you can always command space and Post Taste. All right. So the main template that we use here, um, this is what it looks like, and it's really pretty easy. All you got to do is put in some information. So I'm going to use a sample edit that we, we did about a month ago. So put in the date, uh, the location, which is Yuma Phoenix, if it's online, we also will do online. Project type, this is service. There's also some other ones, like if it's revolution, we would do Rev. Um, if it's Fight Club, we could do Fight Club. You know, honestly, my goal with this, we want to keep it as consistent as, as possible, but we also want to keep it as short as possible. So a good example for this one would be, this is going to be for a sermon, um, one of the spiritual discipleship series, and I'm going to do S-Maturity. And... The entire title of the sermon is Spiritual Discipleship, The Disciples Maturity, but there's no way we're going to put all that in the file name because what's going to happen is we're going to get these finder windows and all it's going to be is just a bunch of dots. <laughs> and we're going to have to extend this window so far just to see what the folder is. Um, so we really want to keep this you know, as short as possible. So speaker, retreatment, editor, Zimigian, create the project. And then most of the time, we're going to create this in, into ingest. Um, for the video today, I'm just going to go ahead and make it on the desktop really quick. And then we're just going to kind of dig through what this looks like. So now that this is done, we can actually close post haste. And I'm just going to go through actually a different edit um, that was done. So you can kind of see what it would look like at the end. So we've got our exports folder here. And then in here, we've got um, our MP3 file. Then we've got a YouTube file and a Vimeo file. So these are our deliverables. At the end of the project, at the end of whatever that we're making, um, this is where they go in the exports folder. Now let's say you made a YouTube video and then you kind of mess something up and then you had to make another one. Well, as you can see on this one, there's an underscore B right here. Um, actually, this file name is a little bit messed up. Um, can I change it? I don't know if I can change it because it's actually uploading right now. It should just be like that. And then these loudness reports, these loudness reports are just... Uh, to see what's actually going on with the compressors. So there we go. So the underscore B means that this is the second version of it. And then if you were to do another one, you would just do underscore C, underscore D. That's how you would export out your files, okay? So projects, um, O2 projects, this is for obviously our premiere projects. This could be After Effects projects any other type of project files that you would have in here. That's everything. Their autosave is in here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, documents. So documents, we've got uh, her sermon notes in here. She also used the example uh, Instagram pictures. So that Instagram picture is in here. So any type of documents that are supporting the edit, you could have scripts in here. You could have voiceovers. Anything like that would go into this docs folder graphics so in here we've got these are the graphics that were made for the app so we've got our subsplash art in here uh, this is the layered file um, here's a couple other a blank version and then the full graphic version this is the full Photoshop file so all the artwork and then we've got another folder in here this is just for the title card so the title card here, we've got the video that was rendered out for the title card. 
And then we've got the picture that can be used for YouTube, Vimeo, all that good stuff. So basically all the graphics that are in the video that are unique to this video are in this folder. Audio. Uh, so we've got a folder here for front of house. And this also could, if, there, if your video had sound effects in it, if it had any special music, anything like that would go into this audio folder. And then we've got source. So in here, we've got our camera folders, and then we've got our service capture folder. We also have a B-roll folder. So if there's someone shooting B-roll, B-roll would now go into the source folder. Before, we used to put B-roll in the docs, no more. Now all of our source is in source, which is actually the way it should be. Temp, now temp is where, um, let's say you had to grab a video off of Dropbox, like an intro video, or maybe you had to pull some other type of video, if this was a missions video, maybe you pulled some video from uh, a mission server or something like that. The things that are in temp is actually video that you would, that would get deleted before the folder gets archived. And so really the temp is, is exactly that. It's a temporary folder. Everything that's in here would get deleted before archive. And then highlight. Uh, this is where the highlight project would go. Also the highlight export, any assets to the highlight like artwork or any other type of music or anything like that that was unique to this project. Now I kind of stress unique. You know, we've got our common stuff that that's a whole other video. But anything that's unique to the, the video, then it would go into this folder. And that's pretty much it. You know, if we stick to this folder structure, then it's pretty easy for anyone to jump into our project and kind of know where everything is at.